forward. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Carlock. It's been 24 days since the votes of the people of this state were counted. For nearly three weeks, it has been clear that if a government were to be formed for the 32nd Doyle, that it would be one made up of Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. In those three weeks, many more families have become homeless, while these parties play footsie under the table and shadow box for the public. Fine Gael, for its, past, uh, for its part in the last government, showed it cares little about this issue. Its policies directly increased homelessness, and it's always been ideologically opposed to social housing. The last government failed to build even 1,300 council houses in its five years. It failed to tackle soaring rents. It cut rent supplement twice and the dole for young people. It failed utterly to protect tenants and homeowners from profiteering which threatened their homes. A clear example is the case of Cruise Park Estate in Tyrrellstown and Eden and Black Rock in Cork, where vulture funds out to pick the carcass of the Irish housing market have laid their greedy hands. I want to commend the Tyrrellstown Tenants Action Group who are, here, who are here with us in the gallery today. They are fighting for their families, their children and their community. These are real people, and there will be real consequences if they are put out on the street. Regardless of any commitments made by Twinlight or others, we know that up to 200 families in Turlstown could face eviction with no real protection. We know that tenants like those in Turlstown are in danger of this across the state because of this lack of protection for tenants from vulture funds and the failure of the previous government to implement a binding code of conduct on such groups in their dealings with tenants. Despite this crisis which has been brewing for years, Fianna Fáil actually opposed allowing statements on housing today. It would have been more in the interests of the people if the two largest parties in this doyle were to come to an arrangement to have a cross-party agreement on the protections needed for these tenants and those that would undoubtedly come after them should nothing be done. Tyrrellstown and Blackrock must be the jolt the state needs to act to protect tenants. If protection of these tenants cannot be guaranteed, then the state should intervene to tackle the homes and uh, bring them into public ownership. NAMA should be compelled to stop any further sell-offs of portfolios. We warned of the consequences then. We were right then and we are right now. We need to enshrine the right to a home in our constitution but also in our policy and in our laws to say, to say that housing is a priority, not profits from developers and vulture funds. Even if we pass protections for these families, we still have a homelessness and housing crisis which has raged for the last five years and has already claimed so many victims. We need a government which will prioritise housing and end the scandal of 1,800 children in emergency accommodation. A government with more interest in housing would build more than 28 council houses in a single year. It wouldn't have cost, cut the council construction budget by 80% and it wouldn't have placed spin over real policy. What, that is what we have had. But what is the future for Irish housing and tenants? We should declare an emergency housing crisis now, and any incoming government should make it clear we need to act immediately.